So here we have a quadratic equation in standard form. Let's say we wanted to rewrite it and put it into the vertex form. So remember, vertex form looks like this. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. In order to get this squared term, we get that from completing the square. Which we got real good at in the last chapter of the last unit. But the way we did it before is not quite the way we're going to do it now. So before, instead of having a y here, we had a 0. And we would subtract that 49 over to this side. And we wouldn't want this 4 out front, so we would divide everything by 4. And when we completed the square, whatever we added to this side, we added to the other side to keep it balanced. Now we're not going to do that here. What we're going to do instead is we're going to keep it all on one side. So, step one is to separate the constant term, that's this 49, from everything else, from the two variable terms, like so. Now, just like before, we can't have this 4 out front, but instead of dividing everything by 4, what you're going to do is just factor it out of just these two terms. So it'll look like this. 4 times x squared minus 6x after I factor it out of the 24 plus blank. Now, like I said, what we did before is whatever we added to one side, we added to the other side. That's one way to balance it in an equation. Think of it like this. If I'm going to lift some weights, if I add 10 pounds to the right side, I can balance it out by adding 10 pounds to the left side. Or, if I add 10 pounds to the left, left hand side, I can just take that 10 pounds right back off and then it's balanced again. That's what we're going to do here. Whatever we add right there, we're just going to subtract it away right on the outside. Okay, so when I complete the square here, I take half of negative 6, which is negative 3, square it, and I got 9. So we're going to complete the square with 9. Okay, but really I didn't add 9. Remember there's this 4 that's on the outside of the parentheses. What you have to take that into account whenever you go to subtract the number on the outside. So really it's as if we added 36. So then I'm going to have to subtract 36 on the outside of the parentheses. Okay, so finally I put it all together. Rewrite this as y equals 4 times x minus 3 quantity squared. And then whenever I combine these two together, I get minus 13. So our vertex is at 3 negative 13. So let's try one by ourselves. y equals x squared minus 8x plus 17. I'm going to scooch that 17 out to the side. Rewrite this as y equals parentheses x squared minus 8x plus a blank. I'm going to add something when I complete the square. Then I have to get rid of it again so I can balance the equation back out plus my 17, my original 17 up here. So when I complete the square, I take half of that, it's negative 4, square that, it's 16. So since I added 16 on the outside, inside, I'm going to subtract 16 on the outside to keep it balanced. Rewrite this as y equals x minus 4 quantity squared. And then whenever I take 17 minus 16, it's plus 1. So here's my equation in vertex form, and my vertex is 4, 1.